Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Cheat Engine to do cheats in the game Bilatero. In this video, we're going to do the money cheat. You can see here I have 9999. I can just re-roll and buy as many cards as I want with this money. I can also set my score to whatever I want it to be. And in some rare cases, you can even modify some of the effects that you find on cards. So this Joker has plus 9999999 malt on it. So there we have. 1.5 billion points not bad so we're going to open cheat engine pick bilatero from the list of processes and we're going to start a new run so the first cheat we'll do is the money cheat you see here we have ten dollars we're going to go and scan for value type double and do first scan and if you want to see how i found out that this game uses doubles stick around to the end of the video i'll show you how i found that we're going to spend some of that money. We spent three, so now we have seven. We're going to scan for value of seven, and it's going to be one of these two. So we'll just go and change this one to eight, and you can see that changed our seven into an eight in game. So we'll just make it 999, and we'll call this money. And we can just go ahead and delete the other one. Next, we're going to find our score. So here, our score is zero. We could scan for zero if we want, but there's going to be a lot of values because zero is something that computers store a lot. We don't want to scan for zero. So we'll just play a small hand to get some points. And now we have 140. So we're going to go into cheat engine, click new scan and scan for 140. There's only 92 addresses. We'll go play one more hand. And now our score is 220. So we can scan for 220, click next scan, and there's only one address here. So we can probably set this to something like 9999, and we can go ahead and call this one score. Uh, and the score one is good because you can, you can play any hand and you'll just win that round. And now that we have all the money we want, we can just keep re-rolling to get all the jokers and magic cards that we want. Next, we're gonna take a card like this, the red joker card, which has a plus three malt anytime you skip a booster pack. And right now the value is at zero. So we're just gonna go and buy one booster pack and skip it. And this card gets plus three malt. So we can scan for three. So we'll go to cheat engine, new scan, three, and then we'll go into this booster pack, open it, skip it. This goes to six malt. So we'll scan for six. There's still 46 addresses. One thing you can do is scan for unchanged value. If a bunch of these flip and they're not six anymore, you can just do unchanged value and then do next scan. And that's gonna weed out everything that is changing. And we know this one's not changing. There's only one left that has the value of six. So we'll just change it to something like 10 and see if that's it. And it is. So. We can go ahead and change this to something ridiculous like 99999. And this red card now has a huge molt on it. So I can just go into the next round, play any one hand, and it's going to get that mega molt right there for 110 million points. So I think we can do this for discards and hands as well. That could be good for practice. So we'll just scan for four. We'll make a discard and now it says three. So we scan for three and there's only one whole number here. So it's probably that one. We'll just change it back to four. And there we have discards. We can just set it to something like 50 discards. You know what? It looks better when we do high numbers. Nine, 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 nine. Uh, so we'll do the same thing for hands. We'll scan for four. We'll play a hand. We'll scan for three. And again, there's only one whole number, we'll just change it to 9999. We'll call that one hands. And we'll just play this ace and this eight to make it look cool with all these big numbers. And of course you get $1 each return per hand remaining and we had 100,000, so that was cool. Okay, that is how you can use Cheat Engine to cheat in Balatro. I hope this video helped you. If it did, put a like and subscribe on this video. And if you're sticking around for how I found out that this value is a double. I'm gonna show you that right now. Uh, I'm just gonna go and start a new run. So we start fresh. Okay, so let's say we want to cheat the money value in this game. We can see that the number is four, but we don't know what the value type is. 
So we're going to do a value type all, and that's going to scan every type of value. And we're going to put in the number four for our first scan. And that gives us 109,000 results. We will earn a little bit of money in the game. So now we have eight and we'll scan for eight. And now we have 94 values. We'll buy one of these cards for three. That means we have five left. Scan for five. And there's two values here. So we can add both of these and we'll just do one more purchase just to see if these change. Uh, and this one changed to a two. So if we change this to 99, we see that's the money value. And we look at the type, we'll delete the other one. We look at the type and it says double. And that tells us right away, this game uses doubles. So next time we wanna go for a scan, we go for value type double, and we can start cheating in any number that we see on the screen because we know that it's a double now. So if we're going for how many hands we want, We'll just scan for four, exact value, value type double. We'll play one hand, we'll scan for three, double, and here we have it, 999 hands. So we found the value type that makes it a thousand times faster to find the address for every other value.